senior here at Northside, um, I, we got to do a senior project. We got to pick a topic that would help our community better. Um, a topic that I picked was teens that are 18, 17, 18 that don't have anywhere financially to stay. Um, there's different things that go on with teens, either depression, suicide, violence. Um, three out of six kids in this classroom are either gonna drop out or are either going to commit suicide. And I know that sucks to say, but statistic has it, there are 23% of the kids in Fort Wayne or Indiana period, freshmen that are commit drop out or commit suicide at 17, 16 years old. Um, different things to try to find to help like stop the, or not stop it, there's no way to stop violence or committed or suicide all the way. Just to drop it is different categories, the different things that I did, like one of them, um, to get like a youth center, like a boys and girls club, but not for like kids, like teenagers, to help them develop into being adults, help them find um, housing, jobs, um, find stable ways to live, how to manage money, different things like that, just to help um, people live on different uh, circumstances. Um, things that I would need are people's help from the community, different uh, resources, money, uh, time, commitment. Um, there's people that actually were, were willing to help uh, set it up, but um, it's, it'll take, not something that can happen right away, it's something that'll be for the future, but I think that if we can get that down or we can hit that, then I think like our crime rate and suicide rate and dropout rate would go down a lot just because there's a way kids can go talk to someone. Um, a lot of kids in here or a lot of kids in the school either feel trapped, uh, don't feel like they have anyone to talk to, or just are abused at home or at school physically, mentally, or emotionally. It's why they do the things they do. Um, kids that commit suicide um, have either been abused or they don't have anyone to talk to and they feel like there's no way out or there's no one they can talk to or do anything with. I actually got to talk to a kid at ACJC um, last month. He, his name's Jacob, he went to Snyder his freshman year. He dropped out sophomore year because his parents got hooked up to crack in the or middle of freshman year, so he fell in with the bad crowd because his parents weren't taking care of him. And he eventually ended up going down the wrong path. Instead of focusing on school, he focused on drugs and doing bur burglaries and different stuff like that. He said that he took the, the, uh, the rap for someone else, so now he's facing 12 to 15 years because of a mistake that could have been avoided if he had someone to talk to and trust. Um, I asked him if there was something he wanted to do after, if he finished high school. He said he wanted to go into automotive, so he wanted to be like to build cars and fix cars. Um, it's just things like that where I feel like different programs can help kids from going down that path and being on, like Bill Gates and owning Apple or Samsung or something like that, your own creation instead of being another statistic. Um, another program that I had in store was, I talked to Mr. West here. Um, next year there's gonna be a class um, where there's incoming freshmen or sophomores or juniors or seniors can take like a speech class where they can come up here and talk to different people in the community or learn how to talk. Um, a class where you can learn how to be hands-on, use computers and technology I know most people do already, but it's different um, things you have to do in order to be a part of certain things. Like for a 911 operative, you have to be able to type 20,000 words in four minutes because they have to move so quick in order to get help. Um, different things like that, or there's like a debate class where you can learn how to talk and communicate with different people and have conversations, because most people text or call or FaceTime or whatever. So most people don't know how to talk or are too scared to come up here and talk.
So, um, and then the last one is to get like physical help. Like Mr. White said, that he'd be able to help with helping certain students. Like my sophomore year, I started to go down the wrong path too. Um, but there was a men's group my sophomore year that was formed, and we actually got to go to Ivy Tech to talk to different community leaders um, that helped us. Like we got numbers and different things that helped. So I was thinking like girls could get like a mentor like Miss G or Miss Riggle or somebody that could, they could talk to or they can plan things to do outside of school to help them. Guys can help uh, and get different teachers. Just find someone that you guys can talk to and communicate as teachers, like administrators or anyone that you feel comfortable. I know some people in here play sports, find someone in here, a sports teammate, a coach that you can talk to and communicate that you can't tell parents or siblings that you feel comfortable with, and that's it.